Uh, hi guys, I'm back with another video and in today's video I will be talking about the subject of anatomy. Uh, okay, so my personal opinions on this subject are that I hated this subject. Uh, in this video, I won't include the table thing like Hamza included in the previous one and like I included in the first video of pathology because I don't think I have read the textbooks available for it um, enough to make uh, to to give it such a, a conclusion yeah I don't want to be the one to conclude it and to be honest the textbook available for it there are many people with different opinions for each textbook um, yeah like okay so the main text the main textbooks available uh, which I used are Grey's Anatomy and Kaelin. I have them both and these are the textbooks I used when I was um, studying anatomy in first year and second year yeah um, just to show you the thickness which I think is very important when selecting a book um, um, Grey's is this thick yeah but then I just divided it into two volumes because carrying the whole textbook as it is um, gets quite heavy yeah and this is KLM they both have a lot of pictures um, yeah so these are the two textbooks I would be comparing and would be talking about in today's video yeah okay so before I start off I just want to say Um, many people have different preferences um, the writing style of the two books are completely different so yeah watch this video and then read the textbook for yourself like, go through a few pages and then make the decision or buy both <laughs> yeah like I did okay so um, the thing about KLM I remember I only used KLM for the very first module of foundation and the GI to study the GI, GIT anatomy that is the abdomen, liver, spleen, etc. Uh, for that I used KLM. Um, I found KLM to be um, very good and very detailed for the GI anatomy, whereas I found Grace to be to be confusing. Like it didn't have enough pictures and I didn't understand it so much. For the GI, so for GI, I preferred KLM. But then for the rest of the modules, uh, rest of the system. Oh wait, you got um yeah. I used Grace, and I found Grace to be, in comparison, I found Grace to be an easier read. Um, it was more to the point and less. Yeah, I found it to be easier to read. Whereas KLM, I found it to be a bit complicated, in what it was trying to tell us. So, um, yeah, I didn't, I like for specific things, I found KLM to be better, and then for other systems, I found Anat uh, Grace to be better. So, again, um, it's a personal preference, I guess. Um, the writing style, I find both of them are very visually have a lot of visual images, um, that helps out a lot when you're studying anatomy, yeah. So, um I'm sorry that this might not be like very detailed, but then this is my opinion on KLM and Grey's. Uh, okay, so yeah, like I think that's that's it about the books. Like I really can't say like, yeah, um, they both have a lot of clinical stuff, um, which is very important for your exams, and yeah, so that's KLM and Grey's. Okay, but then let me just talk about the other resources available and how I studied anatomy. Okay, so um, I think by watching this series and how I spoke about pathology and patho the pathology video and what I'm talking saying in the anatomy video, um, I am not the type of person to read such big textbooks. Um, I don't have the stamina to read such big textbooks. And like, yeah, so I preferred like giving one read of suppose KLM or Grey's Anatomy of a specific system. And then what I used to do was um, there's this book called brs gross anatomy right so again it's this small this thick um it's not a short book exactly but then i found this to be sufficient because um anatomy it requires a lot of memorization and for me i'm uh, i need a lot of repetition i need to read the same thing over and over over and over to memorize it okay so i used what i used to do was 
read um, the big textbooks that are KLM and Gray's once, and then go through it over and over via Gray's Anatomy. So I used to kind of build a concept and like have a general understanding via the big books, and then memorize it via the small book, um, Gross Anatomy by BRS, um, board review series. Yeah, and uh, there are a lot of anatomy textbooks available for those of you that live in Pakistan, um, like Essence Anatomy, that's a short book. Yeah, so um, that actually depends on your style. For me, what I used to do was read the text big textbook once, get a general understanding, and then go through the smaller, shorter textbooks over and over so that I could memorize. And there has been times, for example, in the head and neck module, um, when I was studying the head and neck system, I found, I only studied BRS. Um, I, I got busy doing other stuff and then I only had like a week left for the exam. So I studied this and I passed. So yeah, it was enough. So I would definitely recommend reading this book along with the bigger textbook. Yeah, but then again, you have to find your own style, what suits you, what suits me might not suit you. That is a very important thing. Um, yeah. So find your style, find what works for you and use it accordingly. Along with that, along with all of this, there's this book um, by um, Atlas of Human Anatomy. And this book basically has a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures. Yeah. And it's too, so that while you're reading your text and suppose you need a visual understanding of what's going on. You open this book and look through the image, and then you can see the relation of every of every vein with the nerve, with the muscle. You can actually see it instead of just reading about it. So that is really uh, helpful. So you should definitely complement this with um, the text. I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, I'm sure uh, what other people do is buy a plastic skull model, and they read it according. Uh, they study the textbook and understand it, understand the depression in each skull, the nerve, the vein, where it goes, um, where it passes via a skull model. But I didn't buy a model. I I preferred, um, yeah, I, I thought this was cool, the t pictures, and yeah. So this is what I used. Um, so there's this. Um, there are other textbooks available in the market for anatomy, like Snell's. Do check that out. I have friends who use that over KLM and Gray's. Everyone uses KLM and Gray's. And my friend, Mariam, yeah, Mariam, she's in the videos as well. She used uh, Snell's. So yeah, what works for you at the end of the day. Yeah, so just go through the textbooks. And along with that, another resource um, available is Acklin's anatomy videos. So um, in that video series, it's like this, but then it's in video form. And in that video, it's like it's like a 40 minute lecture for each system, like the head and neck, um, GIT, whatever. It talks about every single system in the video form. And what it does is there's this man, he's kind of creepy. Um, I found him creepy. He, um, there's um, an actual corpse and he just talks about it. He just like, you can see the full flesh muscles and the blood vessels and the meat and everything, the skull. So he actually shows it to you in the video by pointing it out, pointing out the real live muscles. Like it's not, it's not a real person. It's an, um, I think a dead person. And he just talks about it. So um, yeah, that for me, when I first saw it, I had to like, I couldn't watch it initially. I had to like get used to it. It was, it is creepy initially. Yeah, so there's that available. And another resource which I would definitely recommend is um, the anatomy videos by anatomy zone um, he's available on YouTube um, he is amazing um, do watch every single video for um, he has videos for many other things for every single thing do watch him out he is amazing like for GI blood circulation I watched that and I understood I, I like I didn't understand it I didn't understand the GI circulation after hours of reading the text but then via that one video I understood everything I understood everything so yeah, um, I would link him down in the description below. So that is it, I guess, for anatomy. Um, I'm sorry if it wasn't good enough. There's no table for this because I cannot say um, I know enough to make such a conclusion. Um, so yeah, that is it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, we will be covering more other subjects. So just do keep, do, do um, just keep, make sure to check up on our channel every once in a while. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time.